I know. So guys, let us know in the comment section. Are you excited about Dr. Sleep? Do you have your tickets? Uh, let us know. Sound off, as they say, in the comment <laughs> section. Next big story of the week, guys. In the world of Star Wars, this was a massive bomb that dropped it's this week in the world of fandom, guys. Benioff and Weiss, the guys who were going to do the upcoming uh, Star Wars trilogy, it's going to come out in about three years. Well, they are leaving Lucas Films. They have broken <laughs> ties with Disney. They're not going to be doing their Star Wars trilogy, um, I think. And I'm going to break down why I think this. I think John Favreau, Dave Filoni are going to take the reins. I'll get to that in just oh. a second. But a little bit of backstory, if you're unfamiliar on kind of what happened this week with the Benioff and Weiss Star Wars thing. Um, they've released a press release that said that they were too busy doing their Netflix gigs. They got a $100 million deal with Netflix yeah. to develop shows for Netflix. And they said, oh, we're too busy. Uh, a lot of people on social media said, no, that's that's they're leaving something out. Right. <laughs> well, apparently they were. Uh, news came out from people in the know. They basically said Kathleen Kennedy, who is the uh, head of Lucas Films, mm -hmm. was completely surprised when this Netflix uh, news dropped. She felt like she had been cheated on. I, I can understand that. Took her by surprise. That was the first sort of uh, nail in the coffin for the whole thing. There were also reports of lack of creative freedom wow. for Benioff and Weiss. But uh, I think Kathleen Kennedy was just sort of upset. I think so, too. He wanted, he, she wanted him to focus on the trilogy. Now they're going to be off doing this Netflix thing. She yeah. got a little butt hurt from it. I completely understand why. I mean, you you com you're now competing with a hundred million dollar deal yeah. from Netflix. That's yeah. that's tough. And well, then you know they're not going to be focused on their trilogy. They're right. going to be trying to come up with new content for Netflix. Exactly. It's ridiculous. Well, I want to talk a little bit about my Favreau Filoni theory. Before I do a little bit of backstory, love Kathleen Kennedy. She's one of the greatest producers in the history of. I mean, she's produced everything from ET. All the way up till, I mean, now she's the head of Lucas Films. Produced right. just about every great film ever made. Um, but she hasn't had the best track record with hiring directors. <laughs> Poor Kathleen. For Star Wars. Let's take a look back, guys. All the way back to, like, sort of the original, when they were talking about doing a Boba Fett movie. Josh uh -huh. Trank was announced. He was going to direct a Boba Fett film. Josh Trank, the uh, director of Chronicle and uh, Fantastic Four. Uh -huh. the, the not widely beloved Fantastic Four, but right. that's a whole other story. <laughs> well, that got the axe. They announced, press release, Josh Trank's going to do a Boba Fett movie. Well, that went nowhere. After that, Rogue One. You remember the massive reshoots that went on with Rogue One? Gareth Edwards directed the whole film. They came in and brought a new director to pretty much reshoot the entire <laughs> third act of the film. Oh, my God. That's not good. And then, of nope. course, the infamous oh, solo Ron Howard, right? Lord and Miller, <laughs> shot for like three months of principal photography, and then they booted him from the movie, brought on Ron Howard, oh cost gosh. the studio billions. And it doesn't end there. <laughs> That's Yeah, well then Colin Trevorrow. Oh Colin Trevorrow, the, guy, the director of Jurassic World, he was supposed to do episode nine. Mm -hmm. He left because of creative differences, uh -huh. the infamous creative differences. And then now this David Benioff, uh, D.B. Weiss thing. Wow. It's, it's just a bad track record. <laughs> it's a bad track record. I mean, you would think they would figure this stuff out before... You announced that you got a director for yeah, a Yeah, you would, but sorry, Kathleen, you just don't have a good track record like we're saying. The reason I bring all that up, it's been a little <laughs> bit wordy here, but the reason uh -huh. I, I mention all this stuff is because one creative team Ooh. that is crushing it, apparently crushing it over at Disney, uh, is John Favreau and Dave Filoni. And we all know Kathleen loves them. Kathleen Kennedy loves John Favreau and Dave Filoni. We were at Star Wars Celebration. We were at The Mandalorian panel and there was just nothing but love on that stage oh yeah and this news about uh, benioff and weiss dropped one hour after the mandalorian trailer dropped okay the that's interesting amazing looking mandalorian trailer oh, mandalorian yeah. looks amazing looks phenomenal looks like favreau and filoni are absolutely crushing it Yay! i guarantee you kathleen kennedy was like you know what benioff and weiss you can walk we've got a killer we've creative got a killer team backup <laughs> that we all love that loves what we're doing who's apparently crushing it with the mandalorian I think it's almost a no-brainer. You know they're sitting in a conference room somewhere saying, uh, could we maybe give the new trilogy to, to Filoni and Favreau? I think they knew that from the beginning. I think maybe they wanted to give it to them, but maybe they had all these people in line. And Well, let's see how they do with The Mandalorian, and it looks like a movie. We're going to get a movie great. every single week or... Hopefully. I hope that's how it works. It is. It's <laughs> it is? You found that thing. out? Yep, yep. Sweet. Can't wait. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. And so once they get done with production yeah. of The Mandalorian... They've got three years to develop a trilogy. You know right? Filoni knows how to write Star Wars. You know Favreau knows how to direct big budget films. It's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. And they already have a corner office. They're already there working on it. <laughs> I love it. I love this I idea. I love it, dude. If, if we can have a trilogy that looks half as good as the trailers from Mandalorian look, mm -hmm. bring it on. 
Super duper excited. So guys, let us know in the comment section, what did you think of the, the Benioff and Weiss leaving Lucas Studios? And what do you think? Is there a chance Favreau and Filoni are going to pick up the reins? I know what you're thinking. What's Ryan Johnson doing right now? <laughs> Where's his trilogy? Well, we're not talking about it. We're saving that for another show. I still don't think the uh, Ryan Johnson thing is even going to happen. No. But yeah, bring it on, Filoni and Favreau. Let us know in the comment <laughs> section, what do you think? Final story of the week, guys. The boys, the beloved oh. Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, Netflix series, The Boys. We got some big news for season two of The Boys, including release date, new characters, uh, episode count, and more. First reviews of the first episode. We're going to break it all down for you. It's a big week.